Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another Marvel Character Talk. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, Marvel Hero Clicks, but one that's done so well, it's more like a little statue. Uh, this is Uratu the Watcher, uh, made famous now from the What If series. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Uh, very cool indeed. It comes with a diorama style moon base. Here's my hand so you can see the size of this one. It's very well done. He's got a nice coat of moon dust on him from sitting on the shelf for a long time. We'll move around and take a look. This one is from uh, 2012. So this is 2022 when I'm filming this. 10 years already on this one. Uh, look at him, he looks menacing, he looks mean. Uh, Watcher first showed up in Fantastic Four, I believe in 1963 in uh, issue 13 of the Fantastic Four, which was the first uh, Red Ghost and a Super Apes. I've done a, a video on that. If I can find it, I'll show that at the end. Uh, very cool uh, villain and group. And of course, famous on the Fantastic Four was that 48 uh, leading up to Galactus coming and Silver Surfer. When he started out, he was thin like this, and later on, Jack Kirby made him a little bit uh, buffer-looking, heavy. When I got this one, I had to re-glue right there. It came busted off the thing, because he's very heavy, and he's only attached with this plastic piece, so you have to be careful for, with this one. Hero Clicks, I'm sure, is a great game. I don't play the game myself. I just collected hundreds of clear hero clicks over the time because <clears throat> they do a good job on the figures, and there's so many figures you can get, you have a much greater chance on getting uh, a huge collection of characters you like in this scale. And I'm a scale modeler, so I also like this. And someday I might make dioramas with these. <laughs> someday. There's his name there on there. So he's the, the narrator on the what if. Way back in the Tales to Astonish, I believe they had a backup feature uh, with, uh, or it was Tales of Suspense, one of them, uh, where the Watcher had his own stories. That was, I believe, by Stanley Lieber. I mean, Larry Lieber, Stan Lee's uh, brother. And they were very short, and it was just like an alien story, but he was in there as telling the story. And then later on, they'd have the What If started, I believe, in 1977, the first time the comics. And they've had various series of those over the decades. All right, so that's a cool look at the Watcher. Really great figure. Until next time, more Marvel character talk. Thank you for watching.